I am intrigued by the incredible regenerative potential of stem cells. I'm interested in adult blood-forming hematopoietic stem cells. When we transplant one of these stem cells, it will settle in the niche in the bone marrow and replace the entire blood-forming system in the recipient animal. Professor Claudia Vasco is a stem cell researcher at the Technische Universität Dresden. She aims at understanding how the activity of adult blood stem cells is regulated in mice and in humans. Vasco investigates blood stem cells that differentiate into all cells of the immune system. What is the purpose of an immune system? It protects the body against viruses, bacteria, and mutations. After an infection, blood cells need to be newly formed from a small number of stem cells. Without this continuous replenishment, an organism would be very susceptible to infection. Beside these vital functions, the continuous division of stem and progenitor cells also has its drawbacks. In some diseases, such as blood cancer, the development of blood cells is deregulated, resulting in an uncontrolled division of cells leading to tumor formation. We need to increase our understanding of how the activity of hematopoietic stem cells is regulated in order to develop new and innovative treatments for diseases such as blood cancer. This is why Professor Vasco is investigating the mechanisms that regulate the activity of hematopoietic stem cells. She aims to understand the regulation of human blood stem cells in a natural environment. To reach this goal, Vasco investigates human stem cells and their differentiation into functional blood cells in a surrogate host, the mouse. Her team has improved the uptake and expansion of human hematopoietic stem cells in mice. As a result, human blood cells continuously mature in mice, allowing the analysis of human stem cell function in vivo. Vasco has shown that important factors impacting on blood stem cells are compatible and functional between humans and mice. We take human blood-forming stem cells that we get from umbilical cord blood and inject them intravenously into mice. The cells then find their way to the bone marrow. They engraft in specialized niches and start a continuous process of self-renewal and generation of mature blood cells. They form the basis for a humanized immune system in mice. We want to find out whether this system is functional. Our approach is different from other labs. We achieve stable human hematopoietic stem cell engraftment in mice without the need to treat the mouse in any way, for example using radiation or chemotherapy, because we have genetically prepared our mice. They do not require donor blood stem cells for survival. Upon transplantation of human hematopoietic stem cells, these donor cells enter the bone marrow and basically take over the hematopoiesis. With this technology, Claudia Vasco and her team can now perform basic research on cellular and molecular communication that is required for the maintenance and differentiation of blood stem cells within their surrounding stem cell niche. The niche is known to be absolutely necessary for the function of blood stem cells and can also be a target for cancer therapies. But it remains unknown which molecular signaling pathways are switched on, and even the exact composition of the niche cell types involved is not clarified. With their innovative humanizable mouse model, Vasco can now explore novel strategies to improve the functionality of human hematopoietic stem cells taking her one step closer to novel therapeutic strategies. We want to understand which niche cell type uses which molecular interaction partner to induce specific functions in hematopoietic stem cells. Our goal is to support future innovative therapeutic approaches. Our lab is focused on basic research. We investigate fundamental mechanisms, questions that are very basic but that need to be answered in order to develop new therapeutic strategies. Um auf neue therapeutische Ansätze zu kommen.